blessing to every nation. Great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. So sing, for we are God's people. For He has shown us His ways. He gathers us to be stable to partake of His ways. Come, let us sing to every nation, great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation, Lift up your hearts and sing. Great is our God and King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my gracious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for all the holy ones, I do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelations resulting in the knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belong to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and sitting him in his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in his age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is the body the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son rule 
over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. You have exalted your majesty above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you have fashioned praise because of your foes. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care of him? You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You, you have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with the glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. Please all stand. Hallelujah. 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 The spirit of truth. Testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. I tell you, Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what in your defense will be or about what you are to say. The Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. One invitation for us Christians today, as you come closer to the Lord, is our testimony towards Him. Madali po para sa atin, no, bilang Kristiyano, na sabihin, Lord, mahal kita, Lord, nandito ako, nagpipilgrimage ako, Lord. Galing pa ako malayong lugar. Nagpupunta ako sa Kiapo dahil gusto ko magpilgrimage. Dahil gusto ko makapunta sa iyong tahanan. Pero maganda rin itanong, pagkatapos ng pagpunta, ano na? <laughs> Sana yung pagpunta ay hindi lang dahil, ay nagpunta ako ng kiyapo, nagpa-picture ka. Pinost mo para makita ng kaibigan mo, ay bait-bait naman niya. Pero sana yung ating pagpilgrimage at pagpunta rito ay magdulot din ng pagbabago sa buhay natin na ang ating pagtungo sa dambana at tahanan ng Pong Isos Nazareno ay masabi nating nakakapagpabagong buhay 
dahil si Jesus ang nakakadaw pang palad natin. Ang salita ni Jesus na sareno ang pinagninilaya natin at ang salita niya ang humuhubog sa puso natin. At hindi ho ba, kada pilgrimage and we make the pilgrimage, that is the intention. That our lives may be a reflection of the gospel of Christ. That whenever we make a pilgrimage, we go from one place towards a holy place and this place is holy. This place is holy ground for us because this is where we encounter Jesus. Hindi ho ba? This place is holy for us because Jesus Nazareno is here. And when we encounter a place that is holy, when we visit a place that is holy, we leave that place bearing the blessings and even challenges of the gospel. Kaya ho, pag alis sa isang banal na lugar, naroon naman po ang hamon ng pagpapahayag. Giving testimony, giving witness to the faith, giving witness to that encounter that you had. At sana po at aking dalangin sa pagdiriwang natin ng misang ito, saan lalo na din ang mga peregrino, ng mga pilgrims sa ilugod nating inaanyayahan at kaisa din ang mga deboto na nasa ibang bansa, maganda rin para sa atin na when we have that pilgrimage and that encounter, we are led towards living it out and testifying to our faith. Pagpapatotoo, tanda ng pagiging totoo. Kaya ito po yung imbitasyon sa atin. Ganun na din ang hamon ng Ibanghelyo sa atin na tayo din sana ay magbigay patotoo. Totoo sa Ibanghelyo. Totoo sa pagpapahayag ng Diyos. Pagpapatotoo na nakadao pang palad at nakita natin si Jesus. At nakita natin at nakadao pang palad natin ang Diyos na nagmamahal sa atin sa banal na lugar na ito. This place is a holy place because Jesus is here. And when we encounter Jesus, we bring with, with us when we leave the challenges, the blessings, and the message that Jesus gave us. Taglay ang mabuting balita, pinapahayag ang mabuting balita, nagbabago ang buhay. At yan po ang biyaya na hinihiling natin. At yan po din ang imbitasyon na nais ituro sa atin ni Jesus Nazareno sa araw na ito. Na sa pagbisita sa kanyang dambana at tahanan, dala natin ay ang biyaya ng Diyos. Taglay din natin ang hamon na kung paano natin siya nakilala, siya din ang ipapahayag din natin sa iba. Amen. Please all stand. God is our security. Let us express our trust in Him and pray for all the people with whom we make the journey of life as we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to protect, to proclaim God's Word in the face of contradiction and opposition, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may learn to trust in divine providence no matter how heavily our troubles weigh upon us let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer may the that the unemployed may find work and earn their living with dignity 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are burdened with sickness may find comfort in the love and trust of those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may experience merciful judgment and everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, help us to always remain faithful to your word so that in our difficulties we may have the strength to persevere. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. As we offer this bread, and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus, with us now, give us life. Send us your Spirit, the source of our lives. We will serve you with love. And together we will serve you. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof, but, but you say the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. Para po sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, sasagot po tayo ng amen. Pagkasabi ng pari o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo at isubo agad sa bibig bago umali sa harapan ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo. Yeah. 
every day sing to you with all my heart you are my prayer I waste them all into your hands safe in your arms strengthen me this the day for you I stand even if there's sadness stay with me fill me with your joy endless deep Lord help me understand follow your commands I entrust my life to your care my Lord fill me with your love fill me with your truth fill me with your kindness my Lord your goodness shine let me speak your truth let me be the bearer of your love every day we proclaim and testify in your word show me your way for you are like All wonders in this life, heal all wounds, take all worries I hide. If there's darkness, stay with me and feel your hands I hold faithfully. Lord, feel your grace inside, grant me what you desire. So my voice, Lord, sing with me. My Lord, fill me with your love. Fill me with your truth. Fill me with your kindness. My Lord, let your goodness shine. Let me speak your truth. Let me be the bearer of your love. My Lord, fill me with your love. Fill me with your truth. Fill me with your kindness. My Lord, let your goodness shine. Let me speak your truth. Let me be the bearer of your love. Let me speak your truth. Let me be the bearer of your love. Announcement, inaanyayahan po ang mga ministry organization at samahan ng ating simbahan, lalo na po ang mga deboto ng mahal na poong Jesus Nazareno sa ating parish-wide formation sa darating na October 22, 2024, Martes, sa ganap ng ikapito ng gabi. Dito po sa ating simbahan na may temang Devotee to Disciples. Ang ating tagapagsalita sa araw na iyon ay walang iba kundi si Reverend Father Vicente Gabriel Bautista, Vice Rector Manila Cathedral. Makiisa po tayo. Available na po ang ating mga All Souls Envelope sa mga nagnanais 
maaari kayong kumuha na malapit sa mga pintuan ng ating simbahan o sa information guard. Isulat lamang po ang mga pangalan ng mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mga kakilalang na mayapa o sumakibilang buhay na. At sa buong buwan ng Nobyembre, ito po ay ating isasama sa lahat ng mga misa na nagaganap sa ating simbahan. Pagkatapos po ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikiusapan ang lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Minor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in most need of your mercy. Hear your humble petitions, bless these religious articles, that they may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven, our true home and reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Padre Jesus Nazareno Sinasamba na namin Pinigino na namin Maral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan Sino Padre Jesus Nazareno, pinigtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mo pinamatayan ay sagisag ng aming kaligpasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Naranal Panamin Nuestro Padre Nazareno Nilunwag Lati Panamin Nuestro Padre Nazareno Naranal Panamin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Iluwag natin Panamin